Well, many of us are getting into high-definition televisions, the plasmas, the LCDs. Well, we've got to make sure that we have the right signal going into it. We've got Brent DeWall from uh, Sony joining us. Thanks for coming on the show again. No problem. Uh, Blu-ray. These are the new types of uh, disc players that are uh, above DVD players that actually give you the full resolution. And I wanted to talk about a, a few of the different types of models. Uh, many people might be familiar with the PlayStation 3 that has a Blu-ray player built into it. But uh, there is a difference uh, in a lot of cases between that and like a full-blown one as well. Right. And I, for Blu-ray, the, really the, the whole technology is around maximizing your picture quality. And it's not just disc formats that we have now. We have satellite, we have cable, uh, people have stuff with their computers. Some media centers, the exotic ones with the really good video cards, can give you high def as well. So there's a lot of options for consumers, but really Blu-ray is about simplifying and making sure that you can get uh, the content you want that's at a really high quality. And uh, what we've got here actually is the PlayStation is hooked up. It's got a really nice display. And up on the TV in the corner there, you can see the uh, data rate for the uh, video and the data rate for the audio. And what Blu-ray offers, because it has a, like a 50 gigabyte disc, is on a lot of movies like something like the Pirates of the Caribbean here. Uh, we've got one disc of the movie is 50 gigabytes and the special features are 25. And those are just in standard definition. When the third one comes out, if it has high def features, you're looking at 100 gigabytes. On one disc? On, on two discs. On two discs. Sorry, on two yeah. discs. I mean, that, that is, they've done in the labs up to 200 gigabytes. And we're talking about at the beginning of this technology, people are already taking full advantage of it. With the, uh, all the different options available to you, you can see on Blu-ray, the absolute best quality, um, higher than any other format by about uh, 50, 40 to 50 percent. So in terms of when you're going for the best in audio and video, that's what uh, Blu-ray really is all about. Well, it does make a difference. You know, we've got, uh, I believe, uh, Casino Royale. Up here. Right. We'll let, we'll let that run a bit. But as you can see there, we've got uh, the data rate uh, will change. On some movies, it goes up as high as 45 megabits per second. And when you look at all the detail, we're looking at a 720p set on a 1080p set that's 50 inches. After you've watched three or four movies, you really become attuned to detail and you can really appreciate the fine detail in the background and all over the entire frame. It really looks outstanding. And for the sound as well, uh, uncompressed soundtracks are one of the things that's now available and that gives you every track just like a, a CD, the same fidelity as that. And really it's the audio that, that differentiates uh, uh, something between like a customer who might want a PlayStation 3 and a customer who might want a standalone Blu-ray player. So the, um, let's have a look at this one. This is our top of the line. It's our uh, uh, 2000 ES model. And this is the, the player that you want uh, for the person who has the built-in home theater. It's uh, overbuilt in terms of its construction. So if you had two big subwoofers right beside it, and this is in very close proximity, uh, the feet on the bottom are designed so that you won't have standing waves in the cabinet. You can have the subwoofers going all the time. It's not going to skip because we have an oversized disc tray. And in terms of the audio, um, we're going to uh, turn this around in, in a bit. And Every single one of the channels has our ES, which is our elevated standard level of quality for putting your output to your amplifier. And this is the top end. I mean, it looks like you could drive your car over this thing. It's like solid. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's very solid. Actually, in one of the, the uh, uh, white papers, we have a picture of them dropping a brick on it so that they can so show how... I wasn't that far off. No, it, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then, you know, it's got some nice touches just in terms of the overall finish. Uh, you've got a motorized drive tray, uh, very uh, nice, clean controls, a beautiful remote. And it integrates as well with our theater sync technology. So if you plug this into a Bravia TV, and you hit play on the remote for the Blu-ray player, it'll automatically switch the TV to the right input, make sure everything's ready to go. And this has cinema tune presets, we call them. So when uh, somebody's mastering the movie uh, at Sony Pictures, they know what your settings are going to be on the Blu-ray player and the TV, and your look will be the same as what they're looking at at the studio monitors, as close as you can get in the consumer environment. Well, let's look on the back here. There's a whole bunch of different inputs. Let's turn this around. Hitting all the wrong buttons here. That's all right. So if we look at the uh, the back of the unit here, you can see it's all uh, gold plated. And uh, let me just bring this back. You can see we have uh, gold plated contacts. You have your HDMI. 
uh, your fan that I was talking about, this runs uh, very quietly. So the, this particular part is designed just to run nearly silently. And what I was talking about with the audio is here. For a lot of people who already have a home theater installation, maybe they've built in a projector, maybe they have an amazing amplifier they paid thousands and thousands of dollars for, they really like the performance of it. They don't want to swap it out uh, just to get HDMI or switching or something like that. These analog outputs, they'll have an input for. And each one of these channels has a capacitor, an amplifier, A to D converter that's of the highest quality. We use special solder to make sure we maintain the, the uh, fidelity of the high frequencies without making a lead-free solder. This has been a real issue making components that are both eco-friendly and give the same performance as some of the, the less green uh, products as well. So we spend a lot of time on every part and the overall design and uh, this kind of a unit would fit extremely well in a high-end uh, high installation. And like I said, we have stuff everywhere in between. And uh, with Blu-ray, it's, it's all about that choice and the high quality. What do you say to those people? Obviously, there's the competing standard, HD, mm -hmm. DVD. Uh, I think a lot of people are still kind of waiting to figure out who's going to win the format war. Do you think it's going to keep going? Well, I, I, we all hope it doesn't keep going. I mean, from the consumer's perspective, right, they just want to buy a player that'll, that'll do the job for them. But I think uh, in terms of the competing formats, what we're trying to offer is something that gives you the highest quality, it gives you good value, and we're trying to build a product that uh, is great, it will last, and it will be ready for years to come. And so we've got a lot of partners, both on the electronic side and in the film side. And if you're looking right now, you think of things in the fall coming out, like Spider-Man is just released. We're going to have the Pixar films, Cars and Ratatouille. And the studios are really pushing the envelope of the format. And with the Blu-ray capacity, it'll give you the best picture quality you can get today. And when you spent thousands of dollars on your TV and your receiver and all these kinds of things, if it's $100 difference for that last piece of the puzzle and it gives you that much better performance, it's a decision that, that that's where you want to make your decision. Very cool. Where can people find out more information about Blu-ray? On sonystyle.ca. You can go on there and uh, we've got all the players and TVs and everything. Great. Brent Duall from Sony talking all about Blu-ray. You want to check out their website to get some more info about it. Yeah.